Welcome back to the show. Uh, just in case you're just tuning in, this is Robin Minds. You can join the conversation by tweeting at us at TV. We're also on Instagram at Television. Please use the hashtag Robin Minds. All right, uh, moving on to the entertainment segment. I have someone very special in the studios. Uh, he is a Nigerian comedian, he is an actor, he is a musician, an award-winning comedian, by the way. He has won several awards from the Best Comic, AMVCA, Best Comic, City People Awards. His accolades are too numerous to mention. Ladies and gentlemen, you all know him as Clint the Drunk, but his real name is Afame Funa Igwemba. Clint, ladies and gentlemen, Clint the Drunk. Yeah. Wake up, wake up, wake up. The, no, the, the federal government had to now bring out the whole, it's the jurisdiction. It, it depends on where they, they decided. To, what was the question? I have not asked the question yet. Welcome to the show. Okay, I've not given an answer. Yes, you so know. So, any question yet? <laughs> Yo, you're welcome. So, uh, Clint the Drunk, mm? you are one of the most consistent comic. You've been, I would like to, I'd like to, think that you're one of the pioneers of the new era of comedy in Nigeria. Um, new era. I know that street. New era. Mm. No, I mean new era of comedy. Okay, of comedy. Okay, I told you yes. I talked about that. There's this street, new era. No, 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 no. Very new. It's a new old street. Even, it's been there before. even the street is destroyed now. So, But you've been very consistent. Can you tell us why you've been so consistent over the years? How will I know? I've just been over the years. I'm there. <laughs> I'm there over the years, and I've been there over the, the How do I even answer this question? I ask it. How am I? Okay. The thing that it's, is giving is is God's doing. I won't okay. lie to you. Yeah. That's the truth. So are you always like this? Because uh, we we hear that you don't even take alcohol at all. I get high on camera. Wow. I mean on cash, camera, on cash. and anything that says that we see a. Okay. Mm. Okay. You're the only drunk act in Nigeria. In fact, in Africa. I think the last time we had a conversation, that was, I think, last year, mm. if you can remember. Mm. Can you remember that? The last time we had a just conversation. Just continue. Whether I do or not, <laughs> just maybe my memory So you will told be me good. that there was only, I think, in the world, there's only one drunk act, and you're about the second mm. drunk the, act. That I know. In the world. That's me, no. That you know. Mm. The, uh, Something broke. Okay. One man, one white man. But he found out he's so very late. Okay. Was, it was when it was now late. this drunk act how yeah. has it affected your brand my brother let me tell like, you the truth sometimes do you have maybe brands and companies say oh because you're in a certain way every your, your good thing is... that has good positive angle has a negative angle okay yes some companies will say being a drunk is a vice i don't even know which vice are talking because vice president is a good thing Vice and all this, is that, but they say it's a vice, which is actually meant to mean that it's negative. Mm. So they say because of it, they don't want to play me. I look at them and laugh at them because it sounds funny. I am the only drunkard that can actually tell the other drunk people stop drinking, and they'll listen to me. Let me ask you something which person do you think can tell a criminal to stop committing crime? The police or a former criminal that was doing that crime and has left, or someone that was even committing the crime and they caught him. Okay. Did you at any point wish you could maybe switch your brand and you know what? You say, okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm no longer Clint the drunk, I'm now Clint. I'll never wish it. In fact, my show that I'm coming up with. I am put, I'm on stage, I'm bringing out two people. I'm doing a show. Okay. And as you show, I'm bringing out two. You're going to see two acts. The normal me, which you've never seen before. Can you just switch a little bit? Let's see the am I Am I a cigarette that you're switching me from mentor to... No, I'm just trying to, because a lot of people... you, If you want to see it, you come for the show. Okay. Uh, pay it to me. Okay. And that's what... But starts. I've seen your normal you. That's how it starts. I'm just saying that I think... Uh, you've seen the normal ties, me. To end, to entice the viewers, to entice mm. your potential clients, you need mm. to show them the other side of Clint. Because okay. a lot of people have the impression that you are like this, even off camera. Okay. So can you... Continue thinking that way. Until you come to the show, then you see it. I will not give them a tip of the ice block. This ice block has frozen. <laughs> Let me tell you people something. I'm doing that show, and on stage you're going to see the normal me and the drunk me 
on stage at the same time. Mm. Two of it. Mm. Because it's, the truth is, there's nothing, nothing normal in Nigeria, nothing normal in, okay. in this country. If you do normal, normal will never help you. Mm. I have a comedian that does like Madman. Mm. We, we know him. We, yeah, thank you. We know the other one that he cannot talk normal. He must, he must sing before he uh, will talk, understand. Talking about singing, you were once a musician, or you're still a musician. Um, I remember the popular song with Nigaro, mm. Obode. You know, you know uh, the song I'm talking uh, about. You can't complete it uh, because yes. you didn't hear what I was singing. I didn't hear what so I was singing. So what happened? Because that was one of the biggest songs back in the day. Why did you stop singing? Let me tell you something. I'm a comedian. Mr. Roy is a musician. I can sing somehow. So I decided to put a pseudophonic angular projector towards my friend and my brother's uh, career. And it helped me boost him and boost me too. And I continue my comedy. Very soon, I will do another pseudophonic angular projector and it will boost me and one or two other people. But I do. I don't, I don't want to release the album. Who am I competing uh, contipi, uh, 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 Competing with. Thank you. Yeah. The, who am I this thing you said now? I'm no need. No need to do all that thing. I'll just okay. do my thing. Okay. Um, um, still talking okay. about this pseudophilic, whatever grammar you just blew. Mm. Um, we have rumors that there are cliques in the comedy industry. Uh, there are cliques in every industry. Every industry. Even people you, that do biscuits. Can you tell us more about these cliques? I don't know them. No, you do. I know, I know there are cliques, but I'm, I'm not interested. I am here on my own. If you want to reach me, reach me. Simple. End of story. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, because it was that clique thing that started making, they, they, they do, like this clique is not in, happy with this clique, and this clique, they go for shows, and they put themselves, and these other people will go and put themselves. That is their problem. To me, everybody doing clique. Is the only is is someone that doesn't that how is has not that confident in theirself. And how has that affected the comedy? Um, it affected industry. a lot of people. There was a time I heard rumors that I live in Abuja, and people in Abuja actually now heard rumors that, that they knew the fact that I live in Lagos. Okay. But I heard I heard rumors that I live in Abuja, mm. so I was wondering where in Abuja I was living while I was living in Lagos. Mm. People were now not calling. Because they felt since this one has moved to Abuja, no need to use him for programs here. Let him be doing Abuja program. Okay. It affected a lot of things about me. But when, uh, how do they say it? A cow that has no tail, mm. it's God that chases fly for it. That's how they say it. See? I, I really don't know what you're talking about. Because to me, about. a cow that has no tail, what was it doing that made it lose its tail? That, Cow is a very stubborn cow. Okay, With what you just said, apparently you are referring to that period where it looks like you were no longer in the industry. But so far so good, you've been able to make a comeback. Uh, how were you able to navigate through that crisis at that point in time? Crisis? I, I don't even, I didn't even know I was going through crisis. In this condition, you don't know anything that is happening to you. You're just a happy person. Okay. Okay, fantastic. For me, I don't know. See, let me tell you, there was something I did con, 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 consciously, con, um, knowingly. Okay, consciously. Okay, thank you. That's yes. another, because I like the corn. When it's you fine. Put conscious, it's very sweet. Yeah. Corn is sweet. Corn and pear. Yeah. It's nice. You combine so there was something it. you did consciously? Okay, that was what I was saying. Yes, you know this act. If you're doing a comedy act yeah. and you do it too wrong, people get tired. Yeah. So at the time you withdraw. Then when you come back again, it's almost fresh. fresh. Oh, okay, that was what happened. That so it was, was deliberate. Withdrawal and come back while uh, well, instant, instant I, I choose not to read other meanings to it, but I understand. Mm, you had yes. to take a step back so you could have a re-entry into the comedy scene. Step back. If you're taking a step back in your life, you have to be <laughs> conscious of where you are. <laughs> Top of your house, you can take a step back. Fantastic. Four, four stories building. Uh, is, how have you been able to uh, separate your life as a celebrity from social media? Because you're one of the comedians. I know you keep your private life out of social media. How yes, my private it? life is my private part. Um, it's my privacy. Sorry. Remember, remember we're on national TV, right? So, <laughs> okay. so, the private part of your life is in the part that is private. 
All right. Then the public part is a public part. Mm. Is there anything wrong with it? It's not yeah, English. but now, but now we're standing. You know, there was a baby. I'm not standing. I'm sitting. Okay, uh, not we're standing. No, we're sitting. <laughs> There was a baby drama. There mm. was a baby mama drama last year. Mm. And you never responded to that particular issue. I even called you okay, personally. Okay, that issue. I called you personally. Do you know I had, wait, I had that issue. So it's, is it true? My brother, I found out that that issue was NYB. Was what? NYB. Which is? Not your business. It's nobody's business. It's mine. So is it true or not? Is a personal true or a personal not true? You see, Clint, we, at this point, I think we need to be very honest with you. Let's be very honest. You understand? Let's yes. be very honest. You're still Let in me your ask drunk you something. Act. You're, still... you're in public now. Yes. In national TV. Yes. How would you feel I ask you the color of your boxers? The color of my boxers. Mm. If it affects my fans and if my fans want to know. Who are your and fans? Since Who are I'm, your fans? Since I'm a very open person. And are you open? Yes, Did I am. you do such You are trying to spin the wheel. I'm Last not time I checked, the I am the one I with am the job. I'm, and I'm <laughs> the one that is jobless. All right. I'm so, the one no, that Clint, is jobless. Let's, let's get very serious. We're serious. So we just yeah. want to know, was it true? Because well, we even that heard is, that. That is how you look at it. It depends on your life. We even heard that your wife was not too happy about the situation and had to leave the house. There How are so many it? situations that my wife has not been happy about situations. So it's true. Are you married? So it's true. Are you married? No, I'm not. Good. That's why you, you don't understand. That. If, you, if you are married, you know whether your wife can be happy in every situation or not. Okay. The truth is this. I am crazy drunk. If you if I have a show, I'll tell you about it. You come for my show, I'll do my best and make you happy. You see me? Once I leave and I get home, that is me and my home. If I invite you to my home, that means you are a personal friend. Mm. You have personal relationship with me. If I don't invite you, mm. well... That means maybe we have we are very close, but we are too far from each other. So one way or the other. Okay. But the truth is, I do not ever. That, see, let me yeah. tell you. If you really want to know about that part of my life, mm. beautiful, no problem. By next month, I am starting a school called Learn the Drunk 101. It will be a subject you you find you can pay online. 20,000 okay. per lesson. Okay. And you do the lesson for five. You won't even just learn about all these things. You learn about other things, including how many times I visit the room. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's, that's too much information. But uh, no, no it's, 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 it's this fine. one is not too much information. <laughs> no, it's, for it's, you. It's, it's fine. So mm. you are also an actor. I noticed. Com <laughs> comedy mm. and acting, uh, mm. between comedy and acting, which, the same which same. pays the bill. Like, which, which pays the bill? Yes. It depends. When you go for comedy, and it's your friend that say, come and support me. It will not pay bill. In fact, sometimes you even pay the bill of going to the program. Okay. And sometimes there are some acting that will pay you a lot of money to come. So, so far, which, which has been paying your bills more? The both of them pay my bill. Okay. They both pay. They are bill paying. They are bill paying. They, they are paying in bill. They they be, they do they, they be, um, Okay. Okay, let we me understand. put it this we way. Understand. Sometimes you act in a movie. After doing the movie and you come out, you find out that that one movie you did will give you so many. Um, the, 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 maybe it didn't pay so well. Yeah. But it will give you a projection that will make them call you for other things. Basically, exposure. Uh -huh, thank you. That was what I was looking for. It. I've, I kept that exposure somewhere. I didn't know. <laughs> it's not you. Okay, so you. Give the exposure for other things to come your way. Okay. Mm. Uh, Playing the drunk, you express yourself in English language. So and like, okay, most times. That, yes. is, that is why you're such a phenomenal comedian. It's one of the reasons Phenomena. why. You, why you're such a phenomenal okay, uh, comedian. Phenomenal because comedian. people from other parts of Africa and even abroad. Um, irrespective of their nationality, can be able to relate to your jokes. Oh. Uh, do you think, most of our comedians actually use pidgin English, do you think language is sort of a barrier that has stopped the comedians, Nigerian comedians, from exporting Nigerian comedy to the rest of the world? I watched, I went to, I went to Oxy Romon, Oxy Moron. Thank you. Of, of Kenny Bank. Now, that guy, he's his show, I saw some comedians I could count like 
two or three comedians that came out and they were performing in pure English. I was happy. The truth is this. People will tell you that jokes are funnier in pigeon. I say no. In any language that you have good command of the language, anything, you, you can know how to coin anything to come out the way it's meant to come out. Do you understand? Yeah. If you can use, you use language as a weapon. So you do agree you that the pigeon it. has been some sort of restriction? Yes, it's a restriction. But the truth is that I'm seeing some others that are coming out with pure English. The new generation. New generation. Comedians. I've seen some of them. And the truth is that it's not just in Nigeria that that thing is a problem, like being a language barrier thing. Mm. Because even in Nigeria now, Yoruba comedians performing with, for the Igbo crowd, problem. Igbo comedians performing Yoruba crowd, problem. Niger Delta comedians performing, all they do, if you notice, they stick to pigeon. Their Worry. own pigeon. Worry. You're, they don't even call it pigeon, it's pigeon. Pigeon. They don't reach. They don't reach. It's not, it's not a rich thing. <laughs> you know, they will use it and they, they, that's why if you notice most of the time it's mostly Niger Delta people that move because they use Pidgin English which is more wide in Nigeria and they use it too. But with English, if you go with Pidgin English to East Africa, you are, you've lost them. Yeah. So you, you have to be... All right. It's not been easy. I won't lie to you. <laughs> yeah. Making it English is a borrowed language, True. but we have to be, you know. So, what was I? Where, am I fine. making sense? Yeah, making sense. You're Are making you sure? sense. Yes. So finally, just tell us uh, in in a minute. Just tell us about your future projects. And My future should, project. What okay. we should expect from you in a minute? In one minute. Okay. I have I have one minute. I'm, I mean, I have a, a magazine I meant to do. Um, I'm bringing out a magazine very soon. Magazine is it's, uh, it's all about humor, but it's from another angle. It's another thing you have to wait for. I'm bringing out a comedy magazine, beautiful concept that is meant to enhance the reading habit of Nigerians. I am bringing out. Um, I'm doing my show very soon. I'm doing a movie, also. I'm doing my show. It's called Uncut. On okay. court, that is Clint and Clint the drunk on court. on court. Two of us on stage at the same time, same person, two images at the same time, fantastic on the same stage. Then the movie called Stock by Stock at Seven, bringing out yet another character. Wow, that is not the drunk and is not Clint, another character altogether that I used to do way back mm. then. Now Amazing. I'm bringing it forward. To throw it to you people Amazing. and run away. Uh, we look forward money. to all of these projects and mm. I'm very excited. I hope you give me a free ticket. I'm begging for free tickets in front of everybody. Since now. You wanted On to national my <laughs> private part. I'm on my private so life. finally, <laughs> I have no you... business with your private part, by the way. Yeah. But finally, clean the drunk. Um, we've been talking about kidnapping earlier mm. on in the show. So I just want you to use your uh, platform, to use your character to sort of advise young people out there. Not just young people. Act. I want to advise two sets of people. First of all, I want to advise the federal government. Please provide things for the youth. Provide work. Because joblessness and poverty is pushing a lot of people into this thing. That's the truth. If they had something to do, don't forget what they say. An idle man in there is a devil's workshop. They can, if they had something to do, if there was something, at least little hope, they would not be going there. And then the young ones, let me tell you people something. You might think that this is it. This is the only way. The easy way out, uh, this easy way in is the easy way out. It's a lie. Let me tell you, kidnapping people and doing this and all that thing, it does, the day you get caught, it, you will realize you, in fact, I don't know how to even explain it. Just don't do it. Disease from it. Stay away from it.